Right, hi everyone. Uh, look, I thought this was rather interesting, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Our neighbour found this in their back garden this morning, which is a, an adult tawny owl. Real shame finding a dead one this time of year because they, you know, they should be breeding at the moment. In fact, they've probably got chicks. Um, so our neighbours, they live out in the country. They're not near, don't live any near any busy roads. Uh, so anyway, they brought it round and I thought it might be interesting to carry out a post-mortem and see if we can work out how it died. So it's freshly dead. It wasn't out in the garden last night and then they found it first thing this morning. See there's some fairly fresh blood around the beak. There's a bit of grass in there that's probably just... Ooh, actually that has ripped hold of that. A bit of grass in the beak but there's fresh blood around here which might indicate that it's it's been in a fight, possibly another bird of prey. Um, it's fairly, fairly good size. It's probably a female. And if you feel over the breast, there's, there's plenty of muscle and, and fat. So it's in good body condition. So it's obviously had plenty of food. And then the other interesting thing this time of year, if you just gently blow in the vent area, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bald patch which shows that they've been incubating eggs and then possibly chicks. So there's a small bald patch on this one. So, so you know, unfortunately, it's probably one of a breeding pair. Anyway, we'll um, cut it open now and see what we can find. OK, well, I think the first thing we'll do is, is just externally maybe pluck away some of the feathers and see if we can see any injuries. It's around the head area that there's blood. Um, and actually even, oh, there we go. Yeah. so I don't know if you can see that. So this is kind of bottom of the neck, back. You see this bruising across, across where the wing joins the body. A couple of puncture holes. One, two, three. So that looks like that's possibly been attacked from above, probably by another bird of prey. And these are points where the claws have penetrated the skin. Let's see if there's any more. I'm making a bit of a mess in the kitchen. I'll clear up. Think about owls, they're all feathers. Yeah, there's more bruising on feathers get everywhere. Yeah, a bit more bruising all the way across the back here. Tell you what, I'll, I'll pluck it all out and then we can have a really good look at the body. Okay, so I've plucked out, plucked out the body. You can see it's a bit indignified, but uh, tawnies, like most owls, are all, all feathers. Uh, but you can see on the breast there's a bit of bruising around the side of the chest and there's actually a penetrating wound just above it. But it's on the, the back, around the neck, where most of the injury is bruising here and then penetrating wounds along the neck, which would suggest another bird of prey. You can imagine a sparrow hawk or buzzard kind of coming in and, and hitting the tawny owl from the back. That's how they would normally attack. And 
you know, the blood around the mouth, I suspect one of these talon um, injuries has penetrated the trachea, which is the windpipe, done quite a lot of internal damage to blood vessels, and that's meant the poor old house has been coughing up, coughing up blood. Uh, but anyway, that's, I think, the most likely cause of death, but we'll open, open the owl up now and just have a look internally and see what we can see. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to, fortunately this is quite fresh. Rick and Mortis hasn't really set it yet. Gosh, you can see that bruising around the flank. Goodness me, that's really penetrated into that, into that muscle there. That's kind of normal, normal chest. And that's damaged chest. Birds have these enormous muscles across the chest. You'll be familiar for those with your um, roast chicken. But the main muscle mass at the front is what brings and pulls the wings down in flight. So, so those are the muscles which, which need to be big to propel the bird, keep it airborne. So if we cut into the abdominal cavity and through the ribs, I don't know what we're going to find. I've never, never looked inside a dead owl before. So I open it up, and uh, I would think that that in injury on the side has probably penetrated into the rib cage in here. There's broken ribs and, and blood. That's what's caused the coughing up of the, the blood from the mouth. So this is the, the lung cavity. Heart, massive heart for you know for for any you know compared to a mammal birds have large hearts because they've got a they're so active in flight so heart but then the basic anatomy the anatomy will anatomy will be similar uh you know to to mammals as well they've got the liver then these are the intestines um i'll pull them open we'll have a look at those in a bit more detail uh, that's gallbladder there. Yeah, so you can see all the intestines. Um, right, it's a kidney. That'll be the right kidney. See the blood vessels running down. That'll be a vein taking the blood back to the body. Ah, right, that's interesting. Yeah, so we're right. That is a female. Because okay, so over this side you can see see the ovary I've seen that with loads of little that's the ovary there with loads of little well they are little eggs and uh, there's a couple tiny little yellow bits I don't know if you can make them out they'd be what they call corpulutea yellow bodies so that's when an egg has ovulated it turns into a little yellow body so the egg will ovulate it will pass down probably Actually, probably one of these, this tube here, which will be the overduct, fallopian, fallopian tubes overduct, and that's where the egg is formed, and then lay the egg. So it's a female, it has laid eggs, I would think, I would think it's laid eggs this year. Um, right, okay, do you want to pause it now? Okay, okay so I pulled the, pulled the guts out and um, you know at the top end there's the so the crop will be at the, the base of the neck where they store the food it then passes into what they call the proventriculus which is the true stomach then the gizzard which in um, most birds in poultry uh, that's a really thick muscly organ that grinds the food down uh, and then in then from there it passes into the, the small intestine, which are these coils here, uh, and eventually through all those coils out into the large intestine, and then into uh, the, um, 
well in birds they're called cloaca but effectively the rectum now what's interesting in owls is that the gizzard is not that muscly compared to chickens and poultry it's quite a large floppy sack and and this is where the pellet so you know about owls producing pellets of undigested fur and bones from the mammals that they, they eat. So this is where the pellet will be formed. Uh, so all the goodness out of the, the prey item will then pass into the small intestine to be absorbed. And what's left in the gizzard, which will be the fur and the bones, uh, will be formed into a pellet and coughed up. So if we cut into the, into the gizzard, it's a bit smelly because obviously this is food that this owl has been eating. But let's see. So, right, I mean, that to me looks like sections of earthworm. Yeah, they are, they're all bits of earthworm. And I, I think this is a kind of unusual thing about tawny owls that, uh, you know, you imagine meeting rats and mice, which they do eat a lot of rats and mice, but they do eat a large number of worms and slugs. And that's obviously what this owl's just been eating. And, you know, I wonder if it was down first thing this morning, picking up earthworms. It's a damp, wet morning. It's been picking up earthworms on the lawn. And another bird of prey has come in, swooped in, and uh, bashed it whilst it was, was on the lawn feeding. So the question is, what kind of bird would do that? Almost certainly another bird of prey, um, big enough to tackle and take on a tawny owl uh, so that's either another tawny owl i think that's unlikely uh you know this time of year they'll have set their territories up i can't imagine other tawny owls will be pushing into you know into new territories so the likelihood is either a sparrow hawk which is a similar size maybe a little bit smaller than a tawny owl but they're very aggressive and powerful in flight so Possibly a sparrowhawk or possibly a buzzard. Certainly a buzzard would be big enough to take on a tawny owl, but as a rule, they're kind of fairly large, lazy birds and unlikely to, to want to attack another bird unless they're particularly hungry. So my money would be on a sparrowhawk, but possibly a buzzard. Um, so there you go. Sad end.